Addiction advocates say an arrest in Hayes County is a step toward justice for at least one youth killed by fentanyl this year. Hayes County officials say in 2022 there were 40 overdoses related to the drug in the county. 14 of them were kids 13 to 17 years old. KXN's Mercedes Hernandez spoke with substance recovery advocates who say arresting drug dealers isn't enough. Just two days into the new year, Hayes CISD said one of its students was killed by a fentanyl overdose. Friday, Kyle and San Marcos police said they recently arrested 18-year-old Juvenal Flores Sanchez in connection to that death. It took efforts from multiple departments to make the arrest. I mean, this has been an issue for years and years and years, uh, but why do people care so much about it now? I think that, you know, the, the deaths um, are very uh, tragic and, and apparent. Jason Howell is with Recovery People, a nonprofit that advocates for people dealing with addiction. He says while arrests like this are important to end fentanyl deaths. We cannot arrest our way out of this problem any more than we can prescribe our way out, out of the problem. More support all around is needed to curb substance deaths long term. Especially with our youth, um, you know, engage them in uh, prevention services, engage them in harm reduction services. It's really important to connect people to recovery housing. It's a battle that's far from over, says Howell, but it's a critical battle to continue fighting. If we can get people, you know, plugged in and connected with the right services that matches their particular goals and needs, um, it will save so much money uh, as well as save lives. In Hayes County, Mercedes Hernandez, KXAN News. And that suspect, Flores Sanchez, has been charged with delivery and manufacture of a controlled substance. More charges could be added by the Hayes County District Attorney later on.